Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this tutorial from Flight Sim Productions. It's been a while since I put one of these out because, well, I was selling a house and bought a house and unfortunately it took a few months. I wound up staying with my mom, which is really not very cool at my age, but it had to be done and here I am finally back in the studio. Things have settled down, so time to get to work and get some videos out. Now today we're going to be taking a look at Leonardo's Fly the Mad Dog. I've done a video or a tutorial I should say on this for Prepared 3D where I went over how to install liveries in it. But I will be showing you how to install the Mad Dog and I will show you how to put liveries inside of there for your Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so I've went ahead and I've downloaded everything and got them on my desktop. Here's the PDF that comes with it. I'm going to go over pretty much everything in this video, but if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below, or you can go ahead and read the PDF that comes with the download itself. I'm just looking over here because this is brand new to me too, folks. I didn't even know that this was out until today, because like I said, I've been out for three months. I'm pretty much clueless with what's going on in the flight sim world. And as I said before, I did a video on Prepared 3D and I'm just looking to see is there anything I have to do since I own Mad Dog for that as well. And it looks like there's nothing for me to do. I don't see anything where I have to install anything or add anything. So we'll just go ahead and we will install this bad boy. Again, we're going to right click on this and we're going to run this as an administrator. It's got a nice little splash page. And it should find your community folder automatically for Microsoft Flight Simulator. If it doesn't, you might want to try to restart your computer and run it again. But like I said, this is my first time and it found it automatically and it's just installing all the good stuff that you need to have to get this bad boy up in the air. The installation itself looks like it's not going to take too long. So while that is playing out, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to throw up a card right now and uh, this will teach you or show you how to get liveries in your prepared 3D if you're interested. And also, I might as well throw a plug in. If you like what you see, comment, like, and subscribe. And don't forget to share your videos too. Share them on any of the websites that you're on. If this helped you out, it might help out the next person in. Quite frankly, it helps me out by getting the word out and uh, hopefully getting my videos out and more YouTube feeds for all you folks out there. All right, that was quick. So we're just going to click finish here and there's some notes there if you want to read those. We're going to go to our email here and we're going to go to our activation number. And this came with the email that was sent to you after you made your purchase. If by chance you can't, find that email or you lose it later or you have to reinstall simply go to simmarket.com log into your account check your orders and you can get the information there as well and it looks like everything loaded good there are a couple things here on this page that you might find of interest obviously you've got your livery manager here we can change from kilograms to pounds if you want to do that we can also do the uh, panel state when you get into your Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is, will have you set up ready to go or cold and dark however you want to do it. That's the way to go. And you can also change yourself from a male to a female and vice versa or whatever you want to do. And this button here gets you into the livery manager. So we will go ahead and see what that's all about. See if it's any different. But first, I want to check something out. Okay, I was curious about that. Similar. 
This is it. This is the livery manager. And as you can see, there's nothing loaded in it. So we're going to have to load that ourselves. And it's simple enough to do. Your base model is installed in Microsoft Flight Simulator now. So if you were to start it, you would just have the base model. We are going to just close out of this and let's see what else do we got here. This looks a little bit more basic than prepared, but I'm sure as time goes on, it's going to uh, catch up to it. Who knows, maybe be more intricate than prepared. And you can change your boarding music to, I guess, whatever you want to change it to. And here's some options that you can check and Maybe one of these days I'll go over all that with you if you're interested. If not, that's okay too. So, yeah, X is okay. I'm not going to mess with that. When you're finished, you just click the little check mark. And I'm going to close out this README from Notepad. And that. And now let's get into the website. And it's nice that they throw a link on your desktop. And this new Microsoft Flight Simulator installer, that's the one I used to install this. So we don't need that. And we need to go to support. And I always have a difficult time finding it in here and I don't know why. Well, actually I do know why because it's really not prevalent. It should be so you can just jump right there instead of the word here underscored as a hyperlink. You have to sign up through their website in order to get into their form. So keep that in mind too. That's something you're going to have to do. And we're just going to go into that 2020 repaints for livery manager. And these are all ones that are done for Microsoft 2020. Don't use the prepared ones. They won't work. I'm going to start out by getting Air Alaska because I like Air Alaska. It's cool. We're going to download that. That does not take long. And what else do we have down here? Oh, American Airlines, you gotta have that. That's great for the reflections that uh, you can see. So we're gonna save that and wait for that. You can actually go to the next airplane if you want or jet, whatever you wanna call it. But uh, I just like to see that it downloads. And we're gonna go and we're gonna get one more and let's see yeah here we go we got delta that's that's an old livery that's from a while back let's see what they have if they have any of the newer stuff ah, there we go right there we'll download that one too and i think that'll be a good enough start we got three of them i can show you how to get those together Let's see if there is anything else. Mm, it's tempted to get that one, but I think that's good enough. So we can go ahead and uh, go back to our livery manager. I'm going to restart the load manager, which has the livery manager in it. And I'm just kind of curious to see what goes on when I start this. Like I say, this is all new to me, folks. I have not, I didn't even know this was out until today. Uh, it looks like you get an option now. I think that's great. I like how they've done that. Very nice. So obviously MFSS 2020, open that up and click on our livery manager. I was kind of curious to see if they had drag and drop by now, but they don't. No. No bueno for the drag and drop. So I'm assuming it's going to be like the old or the livery manager in prepared 3D where it's in the, in the documents folder. So we need to get out of here and just was kind of hoping they had something, but they don't. So we're going to go into our documents 
not her desktop. We're not going to do the community because it's not going to be in there. I thought maybe it might be at first, but it is not. It's going to be in her documents. And I was really hoping that it would not be like this. I was hoping that it would be in another drive or something. Since deliveries are loaded into my uh, D drive. But there it is and there's no deliveries in there. So we're going to just close out of that and we're going to drag these guys into that folder. Again, that's documents mad dog x files ms fs 2020 liveries and now when we open this up we should be able to add them right from there and there we go there's all three of them i just kind of want to show you again because it was quick documents Mad Dog X Files. Double click on that. Find the MSFS 2020. Not the prepared. The MSF, MSFS 2020. To go ahead and double click on that to get in there. And the liveries, you can either just drag them right into the folder or you can just open up the folder and drag them that way. Either way, it'll get you to where you want to be. And now we can go ahead and actually install the liveries. So I can get rid of this window and we can open up the load manager again. So every time you add liveries, that this is how you do it. You have to stick them into that folder. All right, we're going to open up the, I'm going to get rid of this one and just drag this one over here because I don't need two of them on my desktop. It seems to default to the last one that you opened. Just go ahead and click continue or whatever that says. I'm doing a voiceover for this, so it's not very clear. We're going to go up here to load and you can either do them one at a time like this or you can go ahead and do, select them all and do them all at once. Move those back. If you move them back it actually takes them out of your um, livery folder so you will have to reinstall them. But once you got them all in there, you just click the update and it updates everything. And now let's uh, see what we got in our Microsoft Flight Simulator. I always try to spare you folks from the agony of the loading of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. And we are now at the welcome page and uh, it's kind of neat they have the Maverick movie thing that you can do. It's a lot of fun. It was a good movie. If you haven't seen it, check it out. I'm just going to go ahead and pick a random airport. I think we'll probably just do Cord, K-O-R-D, Chicago O'Hare. really doesn't matter where we're flying to because I'm not going to show a full flight or anything like that. I just kind of want you to see what the livery looks like, what the plane looks like a little bit. And then... Uh, We'll do a video on that one of these days. A nice long flight. And we're going to go to Dallas Fort Worth. Here we're going to choose our mad dog. So you're going to click on. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make it high altitude airways. I like IFR flights. I think they're more enjoyable. I like to have the tower just makes me seem more realistic all right so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna find the mad dog and load it up I also have the Boeing PMDG too that we're 
going to be doing the 737. That should be a lot of fun. Let's find the mad dog. All right, it's down here somewhere. It's probably under McDonnell Douglas, I would assume. Oh, cool. There's that plane from Top Gun that he flew. Kind of looks like a blackbird in a way, but it's not. Okay, we've got... There it is, McDonnell Douglas MD-82. Nice. So we can go ahead and check out to see if our liveries made it. And uh, there we go. We got the American, we got Alaska, and we've got Delta. So they all made it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select this one. And we are going to go back to our flight plan that we did. Our kind of flight plan anyway. Our officially unofficial flight plan. So I'm just click up here. And we will start the flight. And I will tell you something right now. I will be pausing this video because this will take a long time for your MD-83 to get loaded. And it set it in that PDF. It's going to take up to a half an hour for Microsoft to, or for Flight Simulator to do whatever it has to do with the files before it loads. And it took mine about 20 minutes, so it does take a while. But you have to have patience and you have to let it run. Because if you cancel out of Flight Simulator, you're going to have to go through it sometime in order to use the plane. So have patience. Expect at least 20 to 30 minutes of a delay before it loads. And then you can jump into the plane and go at it. So it was about right now I asked myself, is it really real? Is this really happening? It's finally loaded. And like I said, it took 20 minutes and there it is. The MD-83 in all of its glory. I love this livery. It's definitely one of my favorite. And everything seems to have loaded properly. I guess I am not going to really go into too much. You kind of saw what it looked like on the outside from the preview. And look at you can see yourself. Not sure I like where my hands are right there. But hey there. My friend's got his in the same spot. You would almost think they would be on the yoke. But you know that's. That's okay. I don't know if that works or not. I'll have to check out to see if the computer works over there like in the prepared version. But that's it, folks. If you like what you see, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. I couldn't think of the last thing. It's been a while since I've done these videos, I'm telling you. I really do appreciate you stopping by and I appreciate you looking at the video and I hope it really helps you out. And again, share the videos. I love it when you people comment down below on what's what. And until next time, this is Flight Sim Productions. Keep your head in the clouds. And on the yoke too.